strong convictions why we shouldn't take this plunge. I've pretty much decided I'm going to do it, but just want to double check. Nobody has any strong convictions. You love not sleeping. It's so fun. Yeah, I just saw your uh, message, Blunty. That was awesome. So that's what you ended up catching when I was getting off. You stopped playing games and played outside. <laughs> that's awesome, Brawl. Fishing Planet. How's Fishing Planet going? You need to watch pro play player gameplay? Well, I don't know who's streaming next, but that's going to be somebody else. What's up, Scotty? All right, so far we just have Wrangler saying do it, Blood saying do it. All right, let's do it. Yeah, I hear you, Blue. That I, I in, in fact, seriously, I was just looking at this post. Like, look at this, guys. Is this not a little scary? All right, so this is a pretty cool post, right? Like, uh, this setup caught him a really nice fish, but look at the wear on this Poseidon. He's almost at 50% wear on this thing. Whew. Now, I have no idea. That person could have caught a million fish. Or he could have caught 50. I'm just not sure. It wears pretty fast. Yeah. Scotty says he's not using it right. I like that. I like that theory. The line guides are butter, but it's life on the sea. So true. It's just life on the sea. Um, Casavir, we're talking about getting the Poseidon 80050. Thirty k equipment that you're not going to use anymore, but you will make the money back for sure. Okay, that's that's all I need to know. You know, somebody, somebody that streams this game, there is a certain value of just content, right? And I feel like this allows me to do some fishing on the sea that provides some content. Let's just do it. What's up, Razor? Go big or go home. For the content, Pog. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> that didn't hurt at all. That actually felt good. No worries, chat. That felt good. Okay, here it is. Need a favorite. But let's go ahead and put that there. And then... Is the Coast Runner the other boat rod? Yes. Put that there. And then we'll put the Ocean Queen here because I was thinking about this in advance. Like, I feel like this does actually allow for some pretty cool maneuvering in terms of setting these up. Won't necessarily have to... Um, change it as much okay so we can do all of these rigs what are we most likely going to be doing for now probably pilker rig right with drop shot just with a huge lure isn't that probably how we're starting off all right so this is going to be our big setup so we actually need to buy line so if the leader is going to be 181 or whatever, then the line needs to be just bigger than that, I'm guessing. All right, let me look at your thing, Blunty. I want to make sure, just want to confirm that the Borealica, Reef Borealica 30DS uh, does have, we think at least, where is it? Is it under B? Is it not on this list? Can I control F this list? Oh, here it is. 30 DS. That's what I have, right? 30 DS. So it's under B. So we're at line 63 here. Okay. So the drag is 34. The cost is ridiculous. Uh, double gear ratio. The test 
49.5. What does that mean? What does that mean the test is 49.5? It says from 51. Mm. From 51 grams. So we have to at least have 51 grams on here. Uh, I don't what what are these numbers by the way? Oh, this is the line thickness. We don't care about that right now. Five stars. Oh, we don't know. Oh, we don't know. The Solve Pilk 750 is working really good. All right, so we feel we feel confident enough. Honestly, right now, Bear's not doing terrible, Brawl. Bear is not a bad choice right now. I mean, there's always other options, but Bear's been doing pretty good. Okay, so we're, we're assuming that it will hold. 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 All right, so we need some... First of all, we need to make a leader that's 181, right? So let's get that and make that. Does it matter what length the leader is? Wait, is this a marine leader or a shock leader? Oh, I need actual, I need the leader components, don't I? Oops, this is shock, right? Yeah, shock leader. All right. Where's the new stuff? Is this the new stuff? Is this it guys? Is this what I want to do? 181 liter nylon, 400 pound. All right. Everybody says yes. Okay. Even the liter materials, 200. Uh, okay, so now let, oh wait, I need a leader material. I need a <clears throat> a leader material that actually holds that. It's gonna be these, right? Yeah, one eighty one. Oh, I already have some in my bag. Oh wait, that's not the right thing. Not leader material accessories. So these have got to be the new ones. Nope. Oh wait, no, it's gotta be. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is this one at the bottom? All right, we go to this one for sure. All right, so what do y'all think? Any, uh, any <clears throat> wait oh so there's only one there's only one size for a shock leader oh you don't even need you don't even need the things you don't need swivels Hmm. Okay. All right. It's probably, probably all, we're probably going to need a couple of those pretty quick, but that's fine. All right. Now we need the fishing line. So. The line is going to be. Twelve hundred two oh five. Are we doing two oh five here? 
Let's see what this person's using. Yeah, they're using 205. Okay. 205 it is. Oh, 600 should be enough. Is that right? How much? Okay, so this is 0.8 diameter. How much line goes on this reel? Oh, gosh. 1,200 wares less? Oh, nice. Okay, maybe that's a reason to do it. So I can't figure out how much line's going to be on this reel. Uh, let's see. At 0.32 is 1,000. So yeah, point point eight is gonna be like less than five hundred, right? We're actually gonna have less than five hundred. Isn't that math correct? <clears throat> so let's look at the price difference in those two lines. Um. So it's 1,700 silver. Yeah, I'll just do the 600. I'm just going to do the 600 for now. Why does this have something hanging off of it? Oh, it doesn't. I was looking at that. Okay. Okay. All right. Let me see what you were saying, Razor. Um, solve pick 750. I also want to get with this. I'm just going to start. Um, I mean, I, you know, you got to start somewhere, you know. Uh, let's see. All right. Solve pick 750. This has got to be what you're talking about, right? Dude, how many times have I seen this listed on VK? Is this, is this not like super powered or something? Hmm. Sorry, or is it this one? Maybe it's this one. The Hunter? This is the one you got snapped off? Till two, three days ago. All right. 1002 snapped off. All right. So you're saying this one works good. We'll try the soft pilk. I also want to get the um, pilker number 800. It looks like it's this one. RD. All right, and then we need some octopus. So this person was using 2101. And then the red fire stick. And then they were also using squid 2303. times oh just one and then they were also using the natural squid 2307 we're just getting some variety here and then a octopus 21 
01 again. So double up on those. All right, and then that also means we need a bunch of these, right? So at least three of them. All right, and then green, red, and white squid 23. Green, red, and white. All right. I don't have the green. And then green. Red and white. I think there was a fire stick on this guy's deal. Yes. And then I think we're good. All right. So let's set up. What hole are you fishing at? Um, or has this been working at? Fifty-five, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a whole of sand bank, right? Um, twenty-three natural squid, twenty-three green, red, and white. I don't know what gingy spot is. Um, okay. All right, so what size hook are we using down here? A dots. Hundred and twenty meter. Where's the 120 meter? This? Is this where Gingy catches all those massive fish? E8. Oh, this one. This is where Gingy catches all those massive fish? Wait, why is it asking for a lure? All right, this is where I'm putting on like the natural squid and stuff. It's very slow bite, right? Yeah. All right. Sorry, it's taking forever, chat. I'm just wanting to get everything set up and red, white, green, red, white. All right, so green. Um, red. And white. So green, red, all right. So what I don't have are these attraction elements and I guess these are kind of meant. Yeah. What's up, Addy? Finally made it. Um, I hope so Hubble. I hope to, uh, I hope to carp fish for sure. Um, 
Yeah, that's what this person was doing too. Uh, carp sticks and then like a big octopus or something like this one. That's what they were using at least. I mean, that's a setup right there. Holy cow, folks. I don't even know where the, the rest of the thing is. Hold on, let's pick this up. Oh my goodness. My rod's already taking wear. It's down to 2% line guides. All right, so here's our second boat rod. So what's the thing we can only get on boat rods? It'd be the Paternoster rig, right? So the small stuff, we don't actually wanna use the Narga. We could use the steelness for this though. The problem is then you can't do a clip. It's so fun to do a clip. Uh, I guess Tagara? There's just nothing smaller that's saltwater protected. All right, so 45. I honestly wanna come up from Oh, but wait, people like doing, hold on. People like fishing for these things. Now that I have the pilker thing set up, I actually want to put this on pilker rod too for the little guys, right? And then I was thinking, yo, what's up, Ren Renzi? No, yeah, you're right. We call it a Christmas tree. Yeah, pilk setup, that's right. So we actually want pilk setup, but what pilker do you use? What goes good with the shrimp approach? All right, so this is where we now put our, this is where we now put our shrimp, right? Um, Actually, we could, yeah, I just don't know which, like, I don't know if we're going to do, I, I mean, I don't even know if we'll do this at all, but like, are we going to do mackerel or are we going to end up doing the like other small fish, but it doesn't matter. We're just trying to set it up. I really just want to make sure I have enough. Oh, you can do double beads. Holy cow. You have to get beads for days. We have to get beads for days now. This is like so much silver up in this place. You can spend silver more and more and more. All right, so like for this setup, we would need another green and another blue. Holy cow. But this actually, it just, it really feels good to me to not have to take things apart just because we need to get an attractant from one to the other. Uh, all right. So what are y'all saying on the pilker? Um, Hunter 107, the blue one, lurker. Gotcha. Yeah, no, you're right, Blunty. Uh, if you go really small fish, okay. So like if I go for the mackerel, I'm using the bigger shrimp here. So this would be good, right? Put that lurker on there, uh, another small hook and uh, fire stick, uh, tube, and then <laughs> happy hour ended. And then, uh, um, yeah, I mean, something like that, right? Something like that should just absolutely destroy mackerel. Now, kind of what you're saying is, if I want to go for the really small fish, um, I should switch to the Bond 7006, which I don't have, actually. 7006. And then kind of rotate from there. Uh, let's see. Now, Razor, you're saying if you're going for really small fish, you don't want to use... Yeah, yeah, I got you. Hunter 100 with self-made jigs. Wait, self-made jigs? 
So what are you saying? Instead of shrimp, put these on there? Actually, you know, that's what... Um, huh. I actually might get a second hunter uh, lurker because that one's getting a little worn down. And that's actually kind of what... Um, who was it yesterday? Camel was talking about. Maybe we go ahead and set this one up like that just for fun. Because he was using this at the... Um, at the 80, I think, or something like that. Yo, Mystic, what's up? Yeah, we just hit 75%. All right, so he had the gray rattle and the... Oh, crap, I can't remember now. What did he have me put on? Does anybody remember? And then I think we were doing small filet. We'll have to wait. If Camel comes back around, I'll have to ask him. He had a very specific thing. It might have been like... It might have been like this. It was like the, the silver rattle, I think. Or maybe it was the green or blue rattle. And then... Oh, and then yellow tube, yellow tube I think. Something like that. Anyway, but then he was saying, okay, this is where we need a lot more. Oh, I think I wrote this down. Hold on. I took notes of it. All right. 100 blue lurker, blue rattle, yellow fire tube. So I had the, um, I had the yellow fire tube, right? And then he was saying foam fish, two ot, three ot. All right. We need a couple more hooks, to be honest. Uh, that's a weird one. Is that a good hook? The Cobra original? Yeah, it looks fine. All right. So we go two, two, three and we're going blue yellow red and then we need to go buy some more of these and each of them takes two actually we do have two reds so two blue two yellow and at least we have three setups that we know have been working recently that we can go try. Blue, yellow, right? And we don't have to switch everything around. Plus some of this stuff wears out. So I think it's actually okay to have so many of them. At least that's what I'm going to tell myself. All right. So this is line one. And I guess we're going to start off at uh, Gingy spot or either 55. This is line two. And actually line two, we actually want a slow retrieval speed. Line two is for you know, like 41 or 30, even near dock. And this should be able to kill the mackerel. And then we make a slight adjustment. Oh, I need a couple more two aughts. Slight adjustment to it. And then we're fishing for the really small fish. So at least we know how to do that. And these are the really small fish. All right, and then this is line three, which is now set up for just good bite rate, you know, average fish out on the um, out on the fifty-five. 
Woo! Goodness. All right, guys, we did it. What's up, Moz? Yo, there's a raid happening. I'm just in my own world. We finally hit 75% Marine. I'm just in my own world. All right, let's see. Who raided? Cypher, thanks for the raid. How was your stream, Cypher? Um... Yo, what's up, Amar? Welcome in, bot. Maz. The Vikings are here. I love it. Always different colors when using the same lure seems to work better. Yo, Challenge Blue, accepted. thanks for your sub, your prime sub. I really appreciate the support. Thank you, Blue. You're working in beer. Nice. Fishing a bit slow. Yeah. Yo, what's up, Jack, bro? Long time no see. Bought the cheapest casting rod setup ever, so I'm just getting used to it. Oh, nice. Yeah, thank you, Blue. All right, here we go. Let's go catch some fish. We've actually, um, we've spent like the last half hour literally just standing here setting up rods, so we're ready to go. We are ready to go. Um, so we want to go to Gingy spot first and just see if we can get lucky. See if we can have a little luck from the Gingy spot. I feel like that's the spot to go try out our new rod, right? So I'm hearing Gingy is here. 120 you i'm not gonna make it in time is that what you're saying uh you got an express fishing arrow 70 meter with a pro fisher really cheap setup nice hopefully it's fun to use you talking about for the the tuna or what i probably don't even have the lures for the tuna right i didn't want to like get too much this first trip we've basically got two lures to try Go 55? Okay, we'll try 55. All right, so the 1,000. Hey, isn't that the pilker I just bought, though? Isn't that pilker the one I just bought? Yeah, I think it is. All right, we'll go 55 first. That's fine. I'll uh, I'll go fish Gingy spot when you're you're not looking. It's fun setup to use, but I can't cast that far, so I'm trying to get a trophy chub at winding. And the reel is only 3.2, so it's just testing. Nice. That's awesome. Maybe you can uh, maybe you can go fish for uh, bass one day on that on that on that setup. Maybe that day will come. Yo, fishing Dutch, you're getting close. Nice. Well, hopefully my mistakes can inform you of what you do and don't want to do. You hope they add a map with bass? Yeah, me too. Blunty says you're 75% and you have max lock, so you got to go for big things. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. You know what? I think we're going to throw this out with all this huge stuff on there. And I think first fish will be like a mackerel. We've been so dialed in on mackerel this week. They'll follow us to 55. No problem. No problem, boys. It actually is going to be nighttime by the time we get out there, isn't it? Wait, what do you mean you don't like the big lures on the pilker? 
This is the setup you told me to set up, isn't it? What this, what you said you were using? Oh, you talking about this? Oh, the one on the pilker. You're talking about right here. Are you talking about this one spot here where I put this octopus? I can do, I can change this to light stick. Honestly, I just put this on here. This is for the next setup. This is the one that I got off of um, VK with the, what's that lure called? The Pilker 800. But yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't, I don't have most of that setup on there right now. So it's all good. It doesn't matter to me. I've never done this before. It's going to be slow at night, right? By the way, folks, I do want to get some carp fishing in today. I mean, who knows what else? I, I could be easily distracted, but... We're going to start out here at the sea so we can use our new equipment and stuff, but I'm not going to, my, it's not my plan to stay out here all day. I do actually want to um, probably go to Amber, but I'll look around and kind of see what things are looking like. What I normally do when I get sardines, sculp, and mackerel, I'm checking the weeklies for my region. That helps a lot. Yeah, that's good. Good stuff. Can you fish bear? Yeah, we might. I don't know how bear's doing today, but we could check out bear. We might do that. We'll see. All right, so for now, y'all think we're good not trolling? You think we're good just kind of throwing it out there and uh, hoping for the best? I tried to get a chub on winding so long uh, on lure and failed. I tried using bottom rods and grass hopper. I finally got a trophy. Yeah, those chub on winding, they love those grasshoppers. They love those grasshoppers for sure. I have to turn the fan back on. We'll start sweating. You feel like you're at some point you're forced to bottom fish. Not as much now as you used to be though. Like there's so much more spin fishing at every level now, I think. So if it feels restrictive now, man, I think it used to be way more for spin fishers, fishermen. I guess it just depends on like how healthy Volkov, Corey, Archie, kind of as you're going through the, even like, you know, char at Ladoga, it just kind of depends on how healthy stuff is at that given time, but If you lose the strong perking text, you hit the bottom.
And then once you get to Lower Tunguska, you can live there 24 seven. Yeah, Tunguska is so good. I forget about Tunguska. That comes before Archie, right? Chubb on Winding Telestick is actually the best bet? Really? I didn't know that, Moz. What's this, first fish? Oh, it's so weird. It's actually like slowing the reeling down it looks like it's so tiny i guess it is tiny but it was actually slowing it down maz if it wasn't this week i don't remember it oh our yama as well see there's so much spin fishing okay so you're saying archie's 37 Tunguska's 30. So Archie comes before Tunguska? Wow. You just spin fish all the time. Ooh, nice wolf fish, right? You're certain when you level up that Tunguska and Yama will be your favorites? All right, so let's think about this spin fishing. You start off at Winding, you go to Belaya, Cory, Volkov. I guess this stretch here is a little sus, right? You can certainly drift smaller stuff, spin fishing at Seversky, and that's a lot of fun, but it's not going to feel like spin fishing. It feels more like bottom fishing on a boat, to be honest. You're not going to do a ton of, I mean, same thing. Ladoga, if you get into char, that's really fun. Carp, and then you got to be 27 to get to Archie. So really 27, once you like fish a lot at Cory and Volkov, your aim is 27 for spin fishing. And then you have no problem hitting 30. I mean, going from 27 to 30, no problem because of how much spin fishing is at Archie. And then you've got Tunguska, which I thought these days Archie might even be stronger than Tunguska, but y'all would know better than I do. I, I haven't spent a lot of time there. Yama is its own thing, but if you love spin fishing, you'll probably love Yama. And then of course, Marine. Nice first fish. What's up, Twitch Prime? We finally did it. We finally hit 75%. Can you believe it? All your countdowns finally paid off. Um, Tunguska as tuba are one of the best maps, spinning, float, and bottom. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and I didn't even talk about tuba there. Um, I think it, it seems like at least, y'all correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems like with spin fishing... Tuba can be really good or, or not as good, right? I mean, it just seems like you're mostly you're trolling, I think, unless you're going for catfish, but I don't know. Yo, we're just chilling, Razor. We don't have to be super efficient. It's fine. Um, Pike and Oldberg. Yeah, no, that's a good point, guys. And that's just gotten stronger and stronger lately. Although my favorite, if you're going for Pike at Oldberg, is actually to be fishing for carp or something else at the same time. It's so often that 2167 or whatever spot where you can really fish for both at the same time. It's so cool. Jig for big boy, big boy catfish. Yeah, if you want to do wacky, that's true. Yeah, I'm already catching fish I don't normally catch, by the way. Here's the uh here's the scary the scary question. Is that actually the largest poor beagle I've ever caught? I feel like I've only had small poor beagle. Oh, false. We had one that was 32 kilos.
I'm kind of surprised that with these big, hey, Elijah, nice trophy crucian. With these big uh, pilker setups that we are getting so many bites on the drop, you know? Especially in the middle of the night here. <clears throat> Uh, there she is. I knew she'd follow us. Natural squid. So we're not even catching this on the on the. We haven't caught a single fish on the actual lure yet. We're we're uh, we're zero for three on the lure. We're just catching it on the little like side squid and stuff. Now, that's the thing, Scotty. You can have some really good fun with some of those cheaper setups. If you're going for fish that are going to, like, push the setup a little bit, that just makes it really, like, fun fights and stuff. The side squids are the best here. It's maybe a little too much slack to get pilker pilking. Let's see. There we go. Now we'll get some perking going. I always say pilking. You know, that's the weird thing, Scotty, is if you're bottom fishing for chub. They do bite it overnight, right? Isn't that right, chat? But I've noticed that on spinning, they tend to not be as active. I think I'm correct. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. I think that's right, though. I feel like you can catch chub on, on, uh, on, uh, on, <clears throat> grasshoppers and stuff really late at night oh Don it's rough that's what I need to do I need to go just live at winding until it happens yeah some people mystic but not all people <laughs> oh you get rough trophies Oh, that's awesome, Nolapex. I love that. <clears throat> Especially when Belia's doing really well. Which I saw DT Gaming did a video lately doing pretty good at Belia. If you can get a day of fishing at, at uh, spin fishing at Belia and then go to Bream at night at Old Berg, you can put some pretty nice days together. Oh, somebody just trophied Don It's Rough on telly. As of yesterday, it hadn't happened, but it just happened, it looks like. Yes, I agree, Blunty. It's better than it used to be, or it's better than it often is. Because I've done that before on leveling. And it's not been as strong as it seems to be right now. <clears throat> Is that right, Moz? You lived there and got both trophies. So you were at um, Seversky, huh? When I was low level, spinning at Bly in the day and bringing Old Berg at night. Yeah, that's awesome. We're in the dead of the night now, I guess.
Oh, yes, you're right. You did talk about Telly for... <laughs> you're like, told you. Someone finally trophied it on Telly. And you're going to want to stand behind your comment that they are strongest on Telly. Isn't that what you said? I still think that's a little bit of a stretch there, Slip. Winding for the picker rod challenge for Don, it's rough. Oh, that's right. You definitely want to use picker rods if you're going for uh, Donnett's trophies, right? Over 1,500 gold baits. You literally like set yourself up for uh, a lifetime of sturgeon fishing. All right, let's reset here. You didn't pass out Wrangler. Yes, you did say that quantum. You did say that. Yeah, here's what you said, Quantum. I found it. MD, M Dog, by the way. If you want a better chance, try Telly with Bark Beetle, lar Lava, and Red Worm on size 19 hook, 18% cast at 80 to 110 centimeter. Now, I'm not saying you're not right like about that being a good way to catch catch them what i'm saying is like do you really think that gives you a better chance than bottom fishing for them maybe you're right i don't know i'm just i'm not sure if i if i'm behind that when are the dung beetle used getting a ton from digging i can't remember the last time i used dung beetle okay is this because i have it set up like this 181, 205 line. Like, are we always just going to be in this tiny little amount of stress or whatever? You just max drag everything. But are we, sh are we not, do we not think that the reason why the gear takes so much bad damage is because you're max dragging everything like maybe we should use max drag spar sparingly or not what do y'all think Sandwich bait has a higher bite bite rate. That's good. That's a good point. You are getting the benefit of sandwich bait. Ooh, it's the other wolf fish. Look how small that was. How was that pulling at all? Uh, you see more pe people catch donuts on bottom because that's what most people like using. Yo, Slim agrees with Slip. Okay. Y'all are in. Y'all are. Y'all are convincing me. I'll try it sometime. Well, we've definitely got three interesting fish. I'm so stressed about how, how fast it's going to wear, but I mean, we've caught, you know, three keepers nowhere yet. I don't know. We'll see. Um, 
Heart Trap, thanks for the follow. Slip says, see, it's real. Yep, sorry I doubted you. Learning a lot by just reading people's messages in chat. Yeah, it's great when some of the players that have been around for so long start sharing their uh, tidbits that they've picked up on. It really is great. That's one of the issues. Yeah, it's hard to try sandwich when you don't have an unlocked. Good point, Blunty. How's it working? Uh, so far, it's been fine. Yeah. Um, we have caught all of our fish though on the squid so the actual lure hasn't caught any of the fish which i just think is interesting i didn't really like think about that that would be the case but so far that has been the case yeah it's 90 percent, something like that oh 80 percent. okay you repaired your line guides on this rod and it was only like 1100 oh that's great so as long as it's just the line guides no big deal. Y'all may have already said this, but slip and slim. Um, What are you saying? You, are you just letting it drift? Or are you letting it like run up against something so it'll stay still? Do you know what I mean? Like on the telly or just, are you just recasting over and over? Just letting it drift. Okay. Does everyone agree with Wrangler? This is where you just lock and reel. I mean, did I sh were you here when I showed you the post on VK with someone's 50% 50, 50 damaged Poseidon rod? Don't pump, okay. Greetings, Proximus, okay. So don't pump, just real. It's another wolf fish, a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger wolfish. What y'all think? Lure or squid? Or octopus or whatever. I think squid. Oh, it was the lure. We caught our first fish on the lure, chat. Solve Pilk 750. We got our first wear.
What's up, Mui? What um, what map are you wanting to uh, fish at? Yeah, I, I I feel that Moz, but like on these little fish, not little, but relatively small fish, like an eleven kilo wolf fish, you're not saving that much time. So my only question is, how, are you doing more damage by locking it? What map are you wanting to go to, Bub Tub? Okay. We will go with that for now then. Have you, um, do you check out VK Bub Tub just to see like what spots are active at either Volkov or Actually, that's not a good example. Volkov has been surprisingly slow lately, I think. Um, whatever, map. Sorry, uh, Casavir says, yes. Uh, 19 hook, bark. Red worm 118, 124. I think that's right. Yeah, I think that's right, Casavir. You could look at the weeklies on Telestick. That should have the answer on the baits at least. Volkov and Corey are slow. I'm sure Volkov will pick up again soon. Honestly, it's probably good now there just aren't as many people testing it. So, you know, I would say chances are there's some really good fishing to be had at Volkov. It's just not getting tested as much. I wonder if it's faster to do it like this. It certainly feels faster because we're chain we're actually spinning the handle faster, but and really in reality, I'm not sure that it is. Look at our energy. It is just plummeting. So a little bit of weight on this, I would think. I tried Volkov for 15 minutes today and made eight silver. That's brutal. What do you mean, Wrangler? It's weird seeing me online.
Yo, what's up, Dragon Claw? Long time no see. So you're saying if you look at how fast that that's spinning, that that's a way to see, hey, it's a cod. We're catching all kinds of fish on this rig. It looks like he was actually on the lure as well. That's a decent cod. Um, all right. There's two fish on the pilker. You don't think the pilker sucks. You're the one that said to use it. Who said the pilker sucks? Nobody said the pilker sucks. All right, Slip. Oh, I could use some food too. What am I going to do for food today? That's the question. Wrangler says the pilker sucks. Never mind. Come at me. Come at me, bro. Well, this is great. We're just catching fish. Catching some fish. Totally different species than I normally would catch. It's nice. I guess that's the hope, right? You start using some of these different approaches, different rigs. Like, where's the bottom, by the way? Have I drifted? Not too much. I don't get it. Just doesn't look right. There we go. I think we're to pilk. I think we're should be able to get it now. Maybe not. There it is. Got some perky. <laughs> Maz. It's like you know me or something. It's time for swordfish. I've never caught a swordfish in my life. Razor. Don't we want to be like trolling or something for swordfish? Or we just assume that it won't be too big of one? But it's too late to be trolling, right? Because I'm already fishing. Don't you have to set up trolling first? I guess that's why we have Alt F4. I guess, is this one reason why it was important for them to do marine fishing as its own category? If you were somehow able to use this setup, like trolling Archie or Tunguska or whatever, you could just like flip just about any fish right in the boat, basically. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good question, Slim, because I actually haven't put a lot of my points back in yet. Um, I, do I have to go to spin fishing to see that? Oh, I do have light, light conventional reels. Does that count? This is not a light conventional reel. Oh, I've got heavy, so it does double up. So I do have it. Looks like I do have it. We're good.
They hang out in the 50 to 60 meter of the 120 meter hole. Is that what you're saying? Cool. <clears throat> Big scythe bycatch. As many fillets as we're using right now, that's not a bad thing, I guess. Oh, I haven't turned that safe into a thing yet. Need to do that. This might be another safe. Okay, thanks Razor. Maybe I should do that after lunch. <laughs> uh, maybe I should do that tonight, I don't know. Is that because they, um, oh, a little cusk. That's a disappointing fish for this setup. Is that because they uh, like shake their heads a lot, pull, stop, that kind of stuff? I do not have size 18. I, I swear it's like Maz is like, I don't know. Like, do I know you from work or something? I don't have size 18 feet. They're only 15. I do eat a lot of peanut butter and crackers. Uh, they're so fast. So I need to be trolling when I go for them. Is that what y'all are saying? Troll back and forth on that 120 meter hole at 50 to 60 meters and go for it. Okay, we'll see. If you're trolling for them, are you still doing like pilk pilkering stuff? I mean, you're trolling so slow. Are you still kind of fishing for them the same way? Junior Mall, what's up? Greetings. Welcome back. It's going good, going really well. We finally hit 75% marine skill so we can stop worrying about leveling marine skill for a little bit. I'm sure I'll get the uh, urge again at some point to push forward in it, but I think we can just relax and enjoy fishing again maybe. Oh, I'm not supposed to pump, I forgot. No more pump. Is that right? Is that right? Okay. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> That's true. That's true. I, I, I'm already seeing that on VK, honestly. It's a good point. Sure, we'll jig step it for a minute. All right, jig stepping is over. It's time to go to perking. Welcome back, Scotty. I know what's happening. I'm like, man, this fish is taking forever to reel in. It's because I hadn't geared back up. That's another nice wolf fish. We're on the wolf fish out here, to be honest. Winding's not getting it done right now. Of course, when you finally struggle up to 85%, no one will be using shads anymore. Could try rattle for wolf fish. Yeah, that's true. They do love that rattle, don't they? Yeah. Embrace the wolf fish. So far, we've not really caught anything that justifies the uh, strength we have on this equipment, though. All of the fish we have caught would have been fine on our 60 kilo setup, right?
But you never know. Oh, the halibut's active right now. I just want to throw some of those like huge fish out there. What are those going to catch? Anything? I mean, I don't see anybody posting about it, so it's probably not very good, but they got to be there for a reason, right? Maybe not. I don't know that you can always use that logic. <laughs> oh, goodness. People are getting their telly, their telly records in, catching random carp. No, I'm really talking about the um, the like huge fillets uh, or the the whole fish, whatever it's called. I'll show you in a second. This is tiny. We actually got points off of that. All right, I am talking about huge fillet mackerel, huge fillet safe. The 350 gram fillets. What are the murder fish? Like, would I catch something if I was patient with those right now? And would it be worth catching on this big setup? Oh, really? You can't even use it on this rod? Why not? Is that because of the other things you're trying to put with it, Moz, or what? I mean, it weighs, what, 350 grams? Okay. Oh, big hook on smaller picker. Okay, so y'all are still assuming that we're going to use pilker rig. You don't go with one of the types of rigs that just focuses on using the fillet. That doesn't work as well. You might get zero fish a day. All right. Yeah, sinkers start at 150. That's right. I mean, you could definitely do it, right? It's just a matter of is the bite rate so bad that it's not worth doing? So we took 0.2% wear in our first little bit of fishing out there on it. It was a better bite rate than I was expecting though. That was actually quite fun. So 439 silver in about 44 minutes of fishing. That's pretty good. So that cod came in big time, but the wolf fish are also just good silver. I mean, they really are. 
I guess the poor beagle was so small. I kind of, I mean, when I saw poor beagle, I was like, oh yeah, poor beagles are great. But that's a really small poor beagle. Um, okay. I think let's go do some cart fishing and stuff. And then I definitely want to do some more experimentation, some more deep sea fishing stuff. But yeah, and I'd love to try like some sort of large fillet thing, even if it's slow. I mean, some of the huge fillets, even if it's slow, I think it'd still be worth trying, but we'll see. Um, yeah, swordfish try to catch some swordfish later and and that actually and that's what i was working up to i actually may do a second stream tonight and really tonight we'll just focus on big fish in the sea maybe we'll see um where were you fishing at mystic because that's what i'm trying to figure out i might do bear first but then i want to kind of go to uh, amber and just settle in for a few hours a couple hours or something um let me see what bear is anybody like I mean, we had a good day at bear 